everyone! Welcome to my cozy cottage! I had a request to see my little buddy Journey. Say hello, Journey. Well, today I have a treat for you. I am doing a three-tiered tray. So I'd like to welcome you to my channel, and I hope you enjoy it. And let's get crafting. What do you think, Journey? We gonna start crafting? Hmm? You good boy kisses. Okay. With all that being said, here we go. I am ready to do my three-tiered tray. And I like to style mine a different way. I like to make it look kind of more like a floral arrangement than a display of little knickknacks. So here's some of the things I'm getting ready to put in it. Apples. These picks, I plan on using the little pumpkins, but I'm going to take the stick off. And these little pumpkins from Dollar Tree and some fall picks and some moss so let's see what I'm going to start with first first of all this is a tiered tray that I made for actually about five dollars and I painted it white with chalk paint now I wanted this a little bit higher because of the place I'm locating this which I'll show you later because it's part of another video and so what I did was I actually took this actually this part comes off of my tear tray and it's a white pizza pan on the bottom and what I did was I placed it on a pedestal a glass cake pedestal I wanted to raise mine up a little taller and I'm actually going to raise it even higher to almost give the illusion of a tree so I'm starting with my pizza pan and this is the other part of my two tiered tray and I'll try to look for that video and link it below that I when I made this okay I did that so that I can move it and it's easier for me to store and if I ever want to just use this tray I still can now I'm actually gonna put one more item on the top so let me grab that okay I found this beautiful little bowl and I happen to love anything with a pedestal and it had a vintage look and it's white so that's actually going on the top so now I am going to have one two three four little areas to decorate but it's all going to be cohesive and in the same colors i'm going to start off my display with spanish moss in every layer so i'm going to do that now okay so i'm not gonna lie this is a messy project but i want to show you how it's starting to look i really wanted that natural look on every layer of my tiered tray and as you can see I did the top because it was just easy easy and I popped some apples in there I'm not sure if that's finished if I'm gonna add a little bit of fall leaves or not but for now I'm gonna work on the bottom layer next and I'm gonna add my pumpkins okay so now the pumpkins are placed in and when I put them in I try to tilt them a little bit forward I like to see the stem and I still want to see all the moss around the end Okay, my next layer has apples, so it's apples and pumpkins. And I have one more layer here. So to my bottom row, this is the biggest, I'm going to add a few fall picks mixed in with these pumpkins. a little red paint my favorite paintbrush dipping that in and I kept them on the stick and I'll just apply paint and turn it all around okay I'll show you like it is just put a little paint roughly painting not covering everything and here take a look at my hand I wound up holding the pumpkins all right if you want to do a good job really just get in there and not worry about getting dirty but I think they're gonna look great when they're finished Okay, so here it is all finished. I just want to explain the last few steps I did. You saw the beginning, and at the end, I just popped in little, I snipped little pieces of flowers, and I popped in little leaves over here. There's my painted pumpkin. I just popped in a few little sprigs of flowers to fill in the gaps. If you look down here, there's my apples, but I just popped in some leaves 
and a few little berries and I'm gonna actually take one out so you can see if you look that's all I did it was a piece of a berry that I cut and I just tucked them in in between all of the fruits I placed to make it nice and full that's all I did once I had my base down the bottom that's where the picks are and I just popped in little leaves pine cones wherever to make it nice and full so that's how I did my three-tiered tray turned into a four-tier with my little bowl on the top of my apples and even around the apples that's what I did I tucked in little leaves and just little things to make it look nice and full I happen to love the way it came out and I think one final touch is the bottom I put it on a placemat but I'm thinking I may even wrap some fall garland let's try okay so I just wrapped a piece of fall leaf garland around the bottom I think I need to tuck it in a little bit here but I actually do think I like it let me know in the comments if you like it with the garland or without I'll stand back so you can see and that's how I did my three-tiered tray I hope you enjoyed my video I'd love for you to give me a like if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing and joining my cozy cottage family I hope you have a wonderful day bye for now I'm gonna move in for a closer look